morning. I'm Jerry Talbert with a special report from the WGN News Service. At approximately 7.35 this morning, tragedy struck on Chicago's south side, and at this hour, the death and injury toll from a major train collision continues to rise. The two trains involved were both Illinois Central trains from the South Chicago line. Train number 416 northbound was struck from behind by train number 720, which was also northbound. The accident occurred at 27th Street and Brewery Avenue near Lakeshore Drive. The lead train was parked in the station. One passenger in that train said they apparently went beyond the station by a few feet and began backing up. The lead train has a, was a new double-level train. It had four cars. The second train was one of IC's older trains. It had six cars. A few seconds before the crash, a passenger in the second train said the engineer began yelling. Then the crash. The devastation and death which followed was hard to describe. The last car of the first train was virtually sawed in half. A three-alarm fire was put into effect and all available ambulances began shuttling victims from the wreck to several nearby hospitals, Michael Reese, Billings, Mercy, the University of Illinois Hospital, South Chicago Hospital. At this time, the death toll stands at 33, with more than 200 injured. Illinois Central Public Relations Director Robert O'Brien was interviewed a short time ago by newsman Dan Drobnik. Why did this accident happen? I have no exact cause, except that it appears that train number 416 was backing up, and number 720 ran into the rear of it. We don't know why it was backing up, and these are unconfirmed reports. We, we have nothing official. We have a number of operating officers and, and mechanical people at the scene. The biggest concern right now, Dan, has been to get the dead and injured out. They are still trying to pry the wreckage apart. Have you been able to estimate how many people on how many cars you had there this morning? All right. Uh, we've, we had an earlier report that was erroneous. We have uh, four cars on the front train. That was the new cars, the Highliners, and six cars on the train that ran into it, six old cars. Uh, that's something in the neighborhood of about 1,200 people total. It's hard to say how many were aboard. We would we'll probably never know exactly because many people got off and, and walked on their way. How far an area would this cover where these trains started? How many people from how widespread uh, an area? These are people who boarded the train at 91st Street on the South Chicago branch and would have come from the greater South Chicago, South Shore area. Is there any approximation of the speed that the second train would have had no, when the collision No, we don't occurred? know. The, the engineer of that train has not yet been found. It's suspected that he is a fatality. The best thing that people can do is to stay close to their radio or, or watch the early editions of the papers because the, the papers have reporters camped at the morgue and at the three hospitals, and they'll probably have the information faster than I will. Flying officer Jim Cavanaugh of the Chicago Police Department was in a, the WGN traffic copter for most of the morning, flying over the scene of this tragic accident. Jim, uh, describe what you saw. Well, Jerry, we were over the scene of this accident for approximately three hours, and when I left the scene of the uh, railroad accident at 11 o'clock, they were still removing injured uh, from the crushed cars. Now, the biggest problem they have there is trying to pry these cars apart due to the terrific impact uh, to get the injured out. They have cut a hole in the roof of the damaged car, lifting the injured out through the roof. They are taking them out from underneath. And the one big problem is that the train that rammed the standing train is leaning over on its right side. And they have brought in heavy equipment to keep this train uprighted because if it falls over on the side, they will have more injuries, possibly injuring some of the rescue workers. Now, since I uh, was there, they have disconnected the last four cars of the two car, of the six car train, leaving two cars meshed together with the last car of the new or standing train. So we now have at the scene one damaged car and two that done the ramming. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jim, are they having any trouble getting ambulances in and out to take the people to the hospitals? No, Jerry, fortunately, the uh, flow of ambulances, there's no delay or obstructions. The people or spectators that are on the scene are causing no trouble or hindrance as far as letting the rescue workers do their 
job at the scene. All right, Jim, thank you very much, and we hope you'll uh, keep in touch and give us any further reports you might find out. Sure will. Thank you, Jerry. Jim Cavanaugh, flying officer of the Chicago Police Department, who was in our WGN traffic copter uh, flying over the scene of this accident. Now, here's an account of how the accident occurred from somebody who was on the second train. The engineer started shouting, uh, back up, back up. Then all of a sudden, I was, I was not even sitting in the seat. I was sitting on the, iron, on the iron steps that they had because it was so crowded. And then all of a sudden, it was like a thunder and lightning and a crash and doors and windows and bars started falling. The train next, I was in the next train, yeah, I could see that they were just jammed in, crushed in, and many of them were killed. And another train, and, and on my train, across from me, there was a man like with a bar across his neck, ready to be chopped off, shouting for help, and they were all bleeding. And I was sitting surrounded with glass and bars and doors. And uh, I don't know, they pulled that away, from the, the help came, and they pulled me out, and they had to carry me over the banister, and I got off on 27th Street. Now, WGN Steve Schickel has this report from Mercy Hospital on the activities there. 103 persons have been treated so far at Mercy Hospital. They do not know how many of those will remain here for hospitalization. So far, 15 persons have arrived dead on arrival. These bodies will be transferred to the morgue without identification. One more body... I don't know if it's a body or an injured, is just passing by the door now, so that makes approximately 104 entered here at Mercy Hospital. Steve Schickel, WGN News. Now these comments from other witnesses to today's accident. The new car train that I was on went past 27th, and he had passengers to get off, but apparently they overshot the platform. He, like it's only a flag stop, you see, and unless right. they tell him they won't stop. Well, somebody must have raised their hand at the last minute or something, because... We overshot the platform by about 15 feet. Right now, there's ambulances, you know, going in front of me now, and uh, up, uh, all kind of fire equipment, and uh, they're coming back and forth like a parade. One half a car was completely demolished, and there was people screaming, and, you know, people walking around with blood on them, and it was really bad. Now, WGN's John Hogan has a report on an investigation of the accident being launched by Governor Ogilvie. Ogilvy asked for reports from both the Illinois Commerce Commission and the Department of Transportation on the cause, in Ogilvy's words, of this tragic accident and preventive measures which should be taken to guard against a repetition. Investigators from the ICC are said to be on the scene, while Department of Transportation personnel are expected shortly. The governor went on to say, the scene of the accident, so close to Michael Reese Hospital, may be a factor in reducing deaths and injuries for which we can be thankful. John Hogan, WGN News, reporting from the State of Illinois building. Once again, the unconfirmed number of persons killed in the train wreck is now 33. 19 persons were reported pronounced dead at Mercy Hospital. Five people were reported pronounced dead at Michael Reese Hospital. One person reported dead at Billings Hospital. Eight reported uh, lay pronounced dead at County Hospital. It was not known whether any of these victims uh, were being... Uh, uh, were dead on arrival or, uh, or died after they reached the hospital. The coroner's office says it cannot give an accurate account of the dead at this time. But at last report, 33 unofficially pronounced dead and over 200 injured in this tragic train accident this morning that occurred at approximately 7.35 at 27th Street and Brewery Avenue near Lakeshore Drive. The two trains involved were both Illinois Central trains from the South Chicago line. The Vice President of Operations for IC and Gulf Railroads, Jack Humbert, said that a warning light is located between one and a half and one and a half to two miles south of the 27th Street station. He said the lead train in overshooting the station tripped a switch which caused the warning light to become yellow. When the lead train backed up over the switch again, the warning light changed back to red. But by this time, the older six-car train had passed that signal. Humbert said the conductor of the lead train called the engineer from the rear and told him to proceed in reverse. They told him to stop when he saw the older train approaching. Humbert said the yellow warning light slowed the second train down to about 30 miles an hour. The second train was not scheduled to stop at 27th Street. The first train has a new four, is a new four-car Highlander. It's a double-decker which uh, seated 130 persons per car. The second older train was six cars, seating 84 persons per car. Humbert said most of the serious injuries were from the first cars of the older train and the last car of the lead train. 
Now we have this additional film from the scene of today's tragedy, which was just brought into our WGN studios. Mr. Jack Humbert, the Vice President of Operations for the IC and the Gulf Railroad, said the conductor of that lead train, upon seeing the two trains collide, leapt off the rear of the train, but uh, he did not escape injury. He said the engineer of the second train had still not been located in the wreckage. The injured have been carried to at least five hospitals in the South area, Michael Reese, Billings, Mercy, the University of Illinois Hospital, and South Chicago Hospital. Perhaps earlier you've uh, been hearing or seeing on television about the plea for blood by Michael Reese Hospital. That order or that plea has now been canceled. Suburban Service Superintendent uh, for IC and Gulf, Harold Mullen, said both engineers are veterans and both were on schedule. He added that backing up was not a normal procedure, but that it was permissible when a man was stationed in the back of a train. Mullen said he still had no idea how long it would take to clear the wreckage. He said it was impossible to use cranes because of the wires over the site of the wreckage and that Caterpillar tractors were being trucked in from Hammond, Indiana. Mayor Daly, upon hearing of the accident, reached the scene had some reports. You've been told the extent of the uh, disaster we have here? No, they're still trying to take people out of here. Did you just get here, Mayor? A little while ago, yes. Have you been informed at all about the extent of the uh, dead and injured? Not yet, because I haven't been the official town of all of them. Thank you, Mayor. Mr. Mullins said that uh, Caterpillar tractors were being trucked in from Hammond, Indiana to try to clear the wreckage. Uh, he said in a per had a personal comment uh, and he called the wreck not only the worst accident in his own memory but the only one of its size on the IC. We have uh, later figures now. There are, uh, this is unofficial of course, 34 dead and 209 injured in that accident this morning that occurred at about 735 at 27th Street and Brewery Avenue. just saw one of the cranes that uh, Mr. Mullins had said was impossible to use because of the wires over the site of that wreckage. Tragic accident this morning, Mr. Mullins said uh, one of the worst of its size uh, in the IC and certainly the worst in his memory in which uh, now the latest count 34 dead and 209 injured that have been removed uh, or are being removed right now and taken to hospitals along the South Shore area, Michael Reese, Billings, Mercy, the University of Illinois Hospital and South Chicago Hospital. Michael Reese that had issued a plea for blood earlier has now canceled that plea. Uh, once again, the train wreck occurred at approximately 735 this morning, quite a tragic event on Chicago's south side and uh, the death toll and injury toll is still climbing, 34 the latest dead and 209 the latest injured, involving two Illinois Central trains from the South Chicago line. Train number 416, which was northbound, was struck from behind by train number 720, also northbound. The accident occurred at 27th Street and Brewery Avenue on uh, near Lakeshore Drive. The lead train was parked at the station uh, one passenger in that train said they apparently went beyond the station by a few feet and began backing up. When they did that, they triggered the light at the switch back to red, but the second train had already passed the switch by that time, or the light, uh, and uh, it was much too late for it to stop. The lead train had four cars. It was a double-level train. The older second train was uh, 
uh, a train made up of six cars. Just a few seconds before the crash, a passenger in the second train said the engineer began yelling and then the crash. And that's the latest report on the tragic train wreck this morning at uh, 27th Street and Brewery Avenue near Lakeshore Drive. Stay tuned to WGN Television. We'll keep you informed on complete details of this tragic event. I'm Jerry Talbert for WGN News. This has been a special report from the WGN News Service on today's tragic train collision on the south side. Stay tuned to WGN Television for further details.